While everyone is looking at ChatGPT, let's see what Canvas chat tool has to offer. It's not as robust as ChatGPT, but it's got some cool features. In this video, you will learn how to enable your chat feature, how to use it across multiple courses at the same time. Watch this video for a bonus tip on how to use the chat feature in your modules. With the chat tool in Canvas, you can talk to your students in real time. This feature is great for creating virtual office hours, group discussions, study sessions, and much more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into chat tool in Canvas. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I am on my Canvas course. The first thing we're going to do is to enable the chat feature. For you to enable the chat feature, you have to make sure that your Canvas or the campus admin has enabled this feature. To do that, I'm going to click on my settings. And remember, once it's enabled, you can use this throughout all your courses. I'm going to click on my settings. I'm going to click on my navigation. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for my chat feature. And as you can see, it's all the way in the bottom. If you don't see it here, that means your Canvas or your campus admin has not enabled it for you. Once you see it, I'm going to click on my three ellipses, click on enable. And here, I'm going to drag it all the way to the top just so that I can show you. And once that's done, do not forget to click save. And as you can see, it does appear in my navigation pane on my left hand side. So let's go ahead and click on that. And I did type some messages to myself just so that I have some examples to show you. So the first feature is the view to view users online. So as you can see, it says one person online. When I click on it, it will give me the list of the people who are online who are in the course. So every student in the course can access this chat. You cannot limit this chat to some students and have it available to some students. This is available to everybody who is registered and who is in your course. As you can see, I'm the only person. But if you have other students in the course, those people or those students names will be listed here as well. And here are the list of chats that I sent to myself for an example. And all you have to do is hover over them. It will tell you the name of the person who sent the chat along with the timestamp. So if you have one student sending multiple chats, if you hover over them, it's going to tell you exactly when the student has typed in the chat. And as you can see, the only thing I can type here is the text and emojis. So it's like an old Nokia phone inbuilt inside your canvas. All you can do is send your text and emoji. To send, all you have to do is type in. I'm going to click hello. And I'm going to click on this little emoji here. And I'm going to click this globe. And I'm going to click send. And if you hover over it, it tells you that I send this message at 446. And keep in mind, whatever you and your students type will be available for your entire class. So you might want to mention this to your students before they start using the chat feature. And students cannot edit or delete the chat. Only instructor can. So to delete a chat, let's just go to this emoji here, hover over this. And all the way to the right hand side, I see a delete sign. I'm going to click delete. A pop-up window opens up. I'm going to say yes, delete it, and then it's done. Once a message has been deleted, it has been deleted permanently. There's no way for bringing it back. And let's take a look at the new message alert. These are audio alerts, and this or these alerts work only if your chat window, let me see if you can see this. You can now see it much more clearly. These alerts work only if your chat window is open and the browser has been minimized. Now, let's just say you're trying to access your calendar and have this new message alerts on, or if you're trying to access your inbox and this message alert is on, it's not going to alert you at all. So whoever has designed this message alert probably didn't think too much. So this only works if you have your chat window opened up, but your browser is minimized. If you're trying to access anything else in Canvas, this alert system does not work. I don't know why it's been designed, but that's how it is. Like I said, it's like an old Nokia phone inside your Canvas. Now, let's just say you want to chat with your students in different Canvas classes. How do you do that? 
To do that, all you have to do is right click on your dashboard, open a new link. I have five different classes. So I'm going to open five different links here. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to click on each dashboard and I'm going to click on my stats class and I'm going to click on the chat. Oops, never mind. That's not a chat feature. I'm going to click on the chat feature. So here my chat message is open. I'm going to go to my dashboard again, click on my other course and click on my chat window. And there I see I'm going to click on the dashboard, click on another course and click on my chat window. And I have only one person click on my dashboard, click on the other course. And here I'm going to click on my chat window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have them available in all my windows. And as you can see, I have four different classes and four different chat windows available. And I can be chatting with my students in all these four windows at the same time. So that's another way, opening your chat in four different browsers and having or chatting with your students at the same time from four different classes. And I usually have my office hours and I have my chat available with my students. As you can see, these are all the chats from my students in different classes. They do chat and for some reason, students feel it's easier to chat with the instructor than to send an email. And I prefer that sometimes as well. So this is how you can chat with your students with all in all your different classes at the same time. Now let's go ahead and see how can I make this chat feature available in between my modules. These are my modules and in between my modules, I have module one overview and here I have the chat with me feature available for my students. Here I have a couple of assignments and then I have chat with me feature available for my students. And as you can see, the chat feature is only available on the navigation pane, but I want to make sure this feature is available to my students after or before assignments just to make sure that they know I'm available for them and they're free to chat with me about homework assignments as well. So when the students click on it, it brings me back to the same chat window, but this is available to them in between modules. So when they're taking 2.3, do they have a question? They can chat with me when they're done with a couple of assignments. If they have a question, they can chat with me. So this is kind of mimicking a chat bot, having this feature available to them every now and then, even though they don't have a question, sometimes they will just click on the chat and say, I'm doing okay with chapter 2.3. Just that gives that interaction between you and your students, especially when you're teaching an online class. So let me go ahead and demonstrate how this is done using my sandbox. To have that chat feature in between your modules, you'll have to click on your assignments. I'm gonna create a new assignment. And I'm going to name that assignment chat with me. And I'm going to plug in a quick emoji here. Um, let's just say that's chat and I'm going to put a smiley face. Why not? And once this is done, I'm going to scroll all the way down. I don't want to give my students points for chatting with me, but if you want them to chat with you and you're going to award points, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a zero here and that's going to be under my assignments and points this is all you can change however you want but here the submission type is external tools i'm going to click on this external tool here and i'm going to find the tool in my external tool i'm going to scroll down until i find my chat feature one i once i find this it says a very handy tool for hosting live chat sessions i'm going to click on that and i'm going to select and that external link for your chat tool has been enabled. Now you have an option to load it into a new window or leave it as it is. And I'm going to click save and publish. And once that's done, this is how my chat window pops up in between my modules inside an assignment page. Now it's totally up to you if you want to avoid points to your students for chatting with you, or if not, just have it available so they can communicate with you whenever they are in need of emailing you or checking with you. I like to do this a lot in my online classes just to reinforce my students and tell them that do communicate with me every time you're stuck somewhere. 
So let me just quickly go back to my stats class here. Let me minimize my window. And as you can see, the chat feature is available in your navigation pane. And also I have this available in between my modules. After every third assignment, I have this available just so that students can click on it and chat with me. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned something new about the Canvas chat tool and you learn all different ways of chatting with your students and embedding the chat tool inside your module. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be online instructors who are trying to see different ways to communicate with their students. And if you are using chat feature in your classes and you have a better way of using it, please do comment in the comment section and tell me how you use it in your classes. I'll leave a link in the description box below for Canvas, Microsoft Teams, and technology playlists. Do not forget to check them out. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.